dear students today we are going to start the new unit that is cam and follower the cam and follower system is generally used to convert a rotary motion into either a translatory motion or an oscillatory motion there are number of applications before that we will see the inclusion of the syllabus in this lecture today we are going to cover in the presentation that is what is exactly the cam and follower system is we will able to know the various types of cams and followers we will classify the followers according to their motion according to their shape etc then we will uh, also understand the basic terms used to specify the cam and follower system other another thing that we are going to include in the next part that is type of the follower motion which defines the cam profile and according to the follower motion we need to draw the cam profile so we will also see some video to to how to draw a cam profile for the given application let us start with section to cam and follower so introducing cam and follower the figure shows the arrangement of cam and follower system here this portion this green flat face disc and rod is known as follower whereas the black colored elliptical uh element which is attached to the shaft is called as cam now here the rotary motion of the shaft is converted into reciprocating motion of the engine valves so these cams help to operate here the engine valves at particular stroke when we need the inlet wall to be closed to be open exhaust wall to be closed and to be open so this is a very simple and well known example of cam and follower so this is the cam and follower system i think you might have understood the application of cam now let us see what is cam and follower the basic function of the cam and follower is to convert rotary motion into either linear motion or sometime we convert it into oscillatory motion it depends on the application to application the cam is a mechanical device used to transmit motion to a follower by direct contact so we are not engaging any another system like belt or gear but directly the cam is in contact with follower and the motion is transmitted directly to the follower from the cam the driver is called as cam now this is this element is the driver and this is called as cam and the driven member that this green colored flat disc and the rod is called as follower that is a driven member of the system in cam and follower pair the cam normally rotates while follower may translate or oscillate the example is already explained here let us go to the next now 
let us see the types of camps that are used for various applications now the there are three types of camps the first type of camp is disk camp now in disk or plate type of camp the irregular contour is imparted to the cam profile in order to have the specific follower motion now this cam which is having a say elliptical shape is having some specific thickness so in the so this is this thickness is provided to the cam surface in order to have the roller to rest on the surface so this cam have some specific thickness and so it is called as a disc type or plate type of cam so when this cam rotates in clockwise direction the roller follower this roller rolls on the surface of cam when this roller rolls on the surface of cam the roller arm traces the oscillatory motion so this oscillatory motion of follower is achieved by the rotary motion of cam and rolling of follower on the surface of cam in this second figure here the cam roll rotates in anti clockwise direction so by the rotation of the cam in anti clockwise direction the roller of the follower rolls again on the surface of cam and when this roller rolls on the surface of cam the follower moves up or down so during the cycle of rotation of cam the follower gives the translatory motion up and down in the second case so in this way the this type of cam is used to either get oscillatory motion or translatory motion as per the need of the application and this disk surface of the cam is uh, used to provide the rest or resting surface for this roller on the surface of this cam and that's why this is called as this cam and the second type of cam is cylindrical cam so in previous section we had seen the this type of cam here we can see this is a cylindrical cam where the cam is having a cylindrical shape and which is pivoted into bearings attached on a shaft we and this cam have a slot now this is the follower and this is the arm of the follower now when this cam rotates in clockwise direction so this will oscillate in right and left direction so due to the motion of right 
uh, cam, this follower will have an oscillatory motion. As this slot is not just parallel to the face of the cylinder, uh, it this is the curve. Uh, this is the helical curve brewed inside the cylinder because of this shape of the groove the follower will oscillate and this type of cam is called as cylindrical cam the third category of cam is translating cam now up till now both the cams like this type of cam and uh, cylindrical cam were rotating about an axis now in the third case the cam will not rotate but it will reciprocate so this type of cam may be attached to a rack and pinion arrangement where this cam will reciprocate to and fro either in left or right direction and due to this cam profile the follower will have either up and down motion so due to the motion of this follower the follower arm will have oscillatory motion as it is spin to one point but in the second case similar is the case here this rectangular plate is a cam which is having some specific uh, profile of the groove and the follower traces this groove and follower arm moves up and down so due to the reciprocating motion of cam in horizontal direction we get the reciprocating motion of follower arm in vertical direction so in this way uh, the translating cam also used in industry to get desired motion when we need to convert a reciprocating motion or translatory motion into either oscillatory motion or reciprocating motion or translatory motion okay so here we had seen the three types of cam that is one is this type second is cylindrical type and third is translating type let us go through the classification of follower in now in first category we classify the followers based on the surface in contact now again if we see the figure this is the cam this is the pivot at which cam is centered and cam can rotate about that center so this uh, is an important point where the cam is uh, attached to the shaft and when the shaft rotates cam rotates and the center of the shaft becomes the center of the center of rotation of cam also now when this cam rotates in either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction this follower will move up and down now what difference we see here there is a v-shaped follower here there is a circular follower here there is a flat face follower and here there is spherical shape follower now in case of uh, v-shape that is this is called as knife edge follower because this has a knife edge so when the cam comes in contact with knife edge follower it has a line contact and it traces purely the surface of cam so here we get the accurate motion of follower as per the shape of the cam but as it have the knife edge 
it drops on the surface of cam and eventually this the surface deteriorates and no longer it gives us accurate motion so this type of cam which is knife edge which uses cam and follower system which uses knife edge follower is generally avoided the second type of follower is roller follower now in roller follower the follower arm is pinned to the circular roller which is having a smaller diameter so when it comes this roller comes in contact with the cam surface it have pure rolling action between cam surface and the follower but with the motion of the follower uh, motion of the cam follower will move up and down and this motion further can be utilized for any application where we need reciprocating motion so this follower how the pure rolling action on the surface of cam and this gives better life reduce noise and smooth operation hence this type of follower is widely used in applications the third category of follower is flat face follower now in flat face follower always the surface which will come in contact with follower cam will be a flat will be a line contact but the con point of contact will always not be at the point where the axis of the follower passes through or uh, inter interact intersects the cam profile the point of contact may vary from one end of the follower to the second end depending on the position of the cam so here though we get a line contact in between flat face follower and uh, cam profile the point of contact varies from this point to this point and due to this there is uh, noise when the shaft reciprocates inside this screw and again this type of follower is avoided the fourth category is spherical shape now as it has the spherical shape uh, it gives us a point contact and a smoother motion so it is similar to flat face follower but it has a spherical face at the bottom and it gives a point contact in roller follower also we have line contact with cam profile so here based on the surface in contact we classify the types of follower in four categories one is knife edge roller follower flat face follower and spherical follower the another classification of follower is based on the type of the motion of the follower as in the previous case we have seen that follower have two types of motion first is this is oscillatory follower and this is the translatory follower so there are two types of followers that is one is oscillatory and second is translatory now let us come to the next slide that is basic terms used to specify cam now the very first term is the base circle before that let us understand for this figure now this figure gives us the basic 
shape of cam this line is nothing but the cam profile this is the center of cam this is the center of rotation of roller this is the follower and this circle is nothing but the cam shaft now the cam this cam is attached to cam shaft by means of the way and the roller follower rolls on the surface of cam when cam rotates now the first term which is coming to us is base circle so base circle is the smallest circle drawn to the cam profile now this is our cam profile and this is the smallest circle drawn to this cam profile actually we do not draw first the cam profile and then the circle but we draw first the base circle and according to the desired motion we define the cam profile based on this base circle so it is important to define base circle diameter before going to design cam profile the second term coming to us is a trace point now in case of roller follower the ro roller is in contact with cam profile and the point of contact may be at different positions of the roller for example here if we see this is the center of the follower which passes through the cent center line of the follower which passes through the center of cam now at this particular position when the roller is at the base circle the point of contact between the cam and the follower lies at the intersection of the center line with the cam profile but when this cam rotates further the point of contact may lie on this side also though the line in intersect with the cam profile at this position the point of contact may not lie at this position so the surface of the roller cannot be considered as a trace point because trace point is a reference point on the follower which is used to generate the pitch curve now it is very important to get the exact pitch curve and for that we should have the trace point on the follower so trace point in roller follower is located at the center of roller itself but in case of knife edge follower as it have the direct contact of knife edge with the follower and it traces directly the shape of this follower the knife edge itself is treated as the trace point of the follower the third and important term is the pressure angle now the pressure angle is the angle between the direction of follower motion and a normal to the pitch curve now if we see the pitch curve see here this is the pitch curve which is nothing but which traces the trace point of the follower at every instant of uh, time on in between the cycle of the cam Uh, that is throughout the 360 degree this pitch curve is going to trace the trace point right now 
the pressure angle is the angle which is nothing but the angle between the axis of the follower that is follower motion and the normal to the cam profile now if we are interested to draw the normal to the cam profile now you can see that this curve is no longer a circle so the normal to this curve cannot pass through the center of cam right so if i draw a normal to this curve so for that i need to first draw the tangent to this curve right and then perpendicular to that tangent will be the normal so if we draw that normal and take the angle between the normal and the follower motion that angle is called as pressure angle so it is very very important to define the pressure angle because this is the maximum angle maximum pressure angle should not exceed in that way because it will jam the follower now as the angle pressure angle increases the force which is applied to the follower will how two components will how the inclined direction and due to this inclination of uh, force applied from cam to the follower during its motion uh, the partially the force will be partially used to lift this follower and partially it will try to move this follower in Uh, horizontal direction but actually we don't desire to have the horizontal motion of the follower we need only vertical motion of the follower so if the pressure angle is too large the reciprocating follower will jam its bearing so in this bearing this will get lock and there is a possibility of breaking of this follower arm or uh, creating trouble in this bearing also so here the pressure angle should be kept within the limits so that we get a proper motion of the follower and smooth motion of the follower the fourth term coming to picture is pitch point it is the point on the pitch curve having the maximum pressure angle now this is the curve of the cam and this is the pitch curve so at every point on this pitch curve have different pressure angles so pitch point is the point where the pressure angle is maximum okay so at this case it is said here it is found that the pressure angle is maximum and now the this point can be called as pitch point then pitch circle so pitch circle is the circle which is drawn by the radius equal to the radius measured equal to the distance between the center of the cam and the pitch point and if we draw the circle of this radius then the circle drawn is called as pitch circle here this is denoted by pitch circle 
the next term is pitch curve the pitch curve is the curve generated by the trace point at the follow as the follower moves relative to cam so we have already seen the pitch curve which is nothing but the curve traced by the trace point prime circle is the circle drawn from the trace point to the center of the cam so this circle is called as uh, prime circle this is now in throughout the motion of the follower if the cam is getting lifted from this position to this position then the total lift of the follower will be measured as the distance between this point to this point so this is called as the total lift of the follower or stroke of the follower so this is important which defines the total motion which we are desired to get from this reciprocating motion or translatory motion so this is the stroke of the follower now we are going to see the types of follower motions now whenever cam reciprocates or oscillates it follows some motion so if i say the wall of the engine the engine valves are suddenly closed or suddenly open at the end of one stroke and at the end uh, start of the other another stroke in between that position the cam is kept uh, sorry the wall is kept Uh, at rest during in between so follower have always some specific motion sometime it we need a gradual motion sometime we need a sudden motion then dwell and then motion so depending on the application to application the motion has to be defined so generally the types of motions of follower are classified in four categories one is uh, uniform motion that when the velocity is constant the motion of the follower is at constant velocity the second type of the motion which is imparted to the follower is simple harmonic motion so like shm when the point rolls on uh, traces the circle we can see that the motion is on the surface of the circle so in that way the follower is also given the simple harmonic motion and this motion is the second type of motion which can be given to the follower the third type of motion is uniform acceleration and retardation in previous case the velocity was constant in the second case the velocity is not constant but it is a simple harmonic motion in third case the velocity is not constant but the acceleration is kept constant either acceleration or retardation and the fourth is the cyclical motion so we will see in detail all these four types of motions in the next slides